dehydrogenation through elimination is the elimination or removal of a hydrogen molecule from an alkane to produce an alkene. Theoretically, it is also possible to remove a hydrogen molecule from an alkene to produce an alkyne, but for the purposes of this syllabus, we only do alkanes to alkenes. The only condition required for this reaction to take place is that the reaction or the reactants must be heated, and we show that by drawing a triangle underneath the arrow. So as an example here, we have butane, and butane, when heated, would lose two hydrogens or undergo a dehydrogenation reaction. The question of which hydrogens to remove is answered by Zaitsev's rule, which tells us that we remove the hydrogen from the carbon that has the fewest hydrogen. So that is going to be, in this case, the second carbon. We remove our first hydrogen, and then we can see on the third carbon, there's also only two hydrogens, whereas on the first carbon, there are three hydrogens. And since we must choose two consecutive carbons, we would remove the hydrogen from the second and third carbon, which gives us as our main product but2-ene, where now that these two carbons have lost their hydrogens, they now form a double bond or a second bond with each other, which turns this into an alkene. And then obviously we have our hydrogen molecule as a product as well. It is also possible and very rarely or occasionally happens that a byproduct is formed where Zaitsev's rule is not followed, but once again, we always draw, when we're drawing this reaction, we would only show the main product and hydrogen that are formed here.